I just got back from Big Church Festival, but was it really worth it? So the journey wasn't too bad. It was about five hours, but still good. Once we arrived, you could just see a sea of cars, but not too many people queuing, thankfully. Thing is though, we made sure not to waste any time unpacking and we just got straight to it. Hello. Hello, we're, we're in Big Church, church Day Out. No, we're not, we're in Big Church Festival. <laughs> yeah, we're just about to put our tents up. Get it right. And uh, yes, we're about to do it. We'll show you the result. I was very excited. I'm with Pentecostal guys. I was very happy with our tents, as you can see from this video. Uh, all thanks to my auntie. The weather was actually so good. Even though the nights were a bit cold, especially the first night, it was freezing. Um, it didn't rain at all. It was also really fun exploring the stands and seeing all the stuff they've got. Um, and also just looking out at that massive sea of tents, like I said earlier, um, as you can see from this slow-mo video I, I took. Even though, because it was the first day, everything was getting set up, we ran into some really cool moments. Like, um, we passed this tent full of people just worshipping God. The second day, we were really excited to see all the worship sessions, and Tal was especially excited to see one man. Uh, as you can see. Gable Price and Friends. Gable Price and Friends! Gable, Gable Price and Friends. Gable Price and Friends. I'm so excited. Think of the biggest <laughs> The first guy we watched, his name was Callister. Um, he was a rapper and he had a really good DJ as well. What the heck? Too much time on the timeline. Not enough time for all of our friends. One thing that was really funny was this statue guy and he would just slap people's heads as they walked by or do little funny things and he was, he was really nice. <laughs> then after that we found some food and then we had to whip out the Welsh flag. And then we were off to see Gable Price and Friends, which were actually amazing. What did you think of it was, Gable Price and Friends? It was so good. Let me think. Uh, 10 out of 10. We touched him. Whoa, 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 whoa. We high-fived him. Yeah. They were great. And uh, I'm not tired. We've been walking around all day. Just speak louder because I don't know how well you're going to... I'm going to get some slush puppies. Slush puppies. That's, yeah. All right. Sadly, they had no slush. One crazy thing is that right behind us, when we were watching Gable Price and Friends, Brooke Lidgetwood was there dancing. And you can see her in the back of my video here. And I'm on an Instagram story in the corner. In the night, of course, Bethel was playing on that Saturday. Um, but before that, we went to watch Leland and also a stand-in gospel choir who were absolutely amazing. They were, they were sick. Once Bethel was on, I feel like almost every single person who was at that festival was there. Like, because there's about 30,000 people who average at these festivals and it was so good. Anywhere you'd look, left, forward, right, behind, there was just a crowd of people.
So Sunday. No, so uh, we have Hillsong Hill Hill United tonight. Hillsong United tonight. We wanted to see Sam Henshaw, and then we'll see what the day holds. You know? They're doing some kind of video over here. Like a little, some kind of interview over here. Sunday was really nice weather again. Uh, we went to go see if we could do the archery, but I think that was just for the kids. But the stalls were really good further down, with loads of music related things happening, and I even got to try out someone's drum kit. Here is some footage of the cool things that went on. I also didn't know about this really beautiful section of the festival up by the house where all the artists stay. It was really nice. I mean, I did that yesterday, but I wasn't. Sam Henshaw was also really good, with a lot of fans gathering to see him. Uh, and before Hillsong led us in the final uh, worship session, Israel and New Breed played a really blessed set for us. Before Hillsong came on, my friend Naomi got a hold of my camera and wanted to share a little message. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'm here at Big Church Festival with my crew. So we're all here and we're enjoying ourselves and we just listened to Israel New Breed. Um, and we're about to listen to Slash Worship with United. It is in Credit So, Amen. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then again, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. And then the Hillsong set had some really classic songs as well, but everything they played was amazing. I hope you enjoy. We were all definitely ready to leave the final morning, but we had a really good time. I did put a time lapse of me putting my tent down, but it happened so fast, it's like a two second video, so enjoy. Once we were packed up, we set off, ready to go. And before I end this video, I want to show you a goat that I met in the services. On a farm, and my mum's bought her, because so mum's got a sort of small hole in, so she's bought her to take yeah. Very cute. What's her name? Pip. Pip. Very nice. It was pretty cool to meet a goat. They were like from a farm and she was, I don't, I don't even know the whole story. Um, I wish I could have stayed longer and talked to her, but we had to go. But very interesting. All in all, I definitely recommend going to Big Church Festival if you want to go next year. It makes such an impact seeing so many people around you worshipping Jesus and it, it really is encouraging. If you were there, please tell me your favourite part of the festival and why in the comments. 
Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos I took.